We are beginning the panel session for the defense of the cities by Victoria Winter. The CITES is submitted in conformity with the requirements for the academic degree of the candidate of science in psychology. The specialization is 19004, medical psychology, psychological sciences. The topic of the CITES is the role of sexological factors in the rehabilitation of patients after myocardial infarction. We kindly ask you to switch off your mobile phone. The panel session of the dissertation board is being recorded and broadcast on the internet and interpreted into English. By Rector's Order Number 11184-1, as of the 13th of November, I, Professor Valentina Bizova, Doctor of Psychology, Professor of the Department of General Psychology, SPBU, was appointed the Chair of the dissertation board. Let me introduce the other members of the dissertation board. Valentin Ababkov, Doctor of Psychology, SPBU, Professor. Dr. Sholkova Olga, Doctor of Psychology, SPBU. Yelena Malkova, Professor, Herzen State Pedagogical University of Russia. Vanya Lukova Matanova, Doctor of Psychology, Professor, Sofia University, St. Clement Okitsky. Under the federal law, as of the 23rd of May 2016, on amending Article 4 of the Federal Law on Science and State Scientific and Technical Policy, St. Petersburg State University and Moscow State University are entitled to confer academic degrees. The degrees are conferred only within the scientific specializations and branches of science specified by the Arab Ministry of Science and Education. The corresponding order on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University was issued on the 1st of September 2016. According to item 17 of section 3 of the regulation on the dissertation board for the defense of candidate and doctoral dissertations, the panel discussion is valid provided two-thirds of the appointed board members are present. The total number is not to be fewer than four people. Our station board consists of five, five people, five of which are present. Therefore, we have a quorum. The agenda of our meeting today is as follows. It will not exceed two hours. Number one, the chairman's presentation about the documents submitted by the candidate for the degree and their conformity with the requirements. Chairman's reply to questions, if any, five minutes. Number two, the candidate's presentation providing an overview and findings of the research, no more than 15 minutes. Number three, questions to the candidate regarding the presentation, no more than two minutes for each question. The candidates reply to the questions. Number four, chair's overview of the submitted reports on the CITES. As all the reports were posted on the official SPB website, only critical remarks and questions are read out. Number five, reports on the CITES. The board members will be taking the floor in turns in order to give a detailed account of the opinions, suggestions and questions to the candidate. No more than 10 minutes per person. Number six, the candidate's comments about the reports on the CITES. No more than 15 minutes. Number seven, questions from the audience. The floor will be given to the non-board attendees. They can give a brief account of their ideas and or ask questions to the candidate about the research. No more than five minutes per person. It is necessary to fill in the registration form and give their full name before the talk. Number eight. The candidate's comments about the talks given by non-members of the board, no more than five minutes. Number nine, presentation of the candidate's thesis supervisor, no more than three minutes. Number ten, a five-minute break before the open balloting on conferring or non-conferring the academic degree. The discussion of the results of the defense is not broadcast. Next item, open balloting. 
vote counting and recording the results in the minutes of the session. Next item, deciding upon conferring or not conferring the academic degree. And finally, candidates closing speech, no more than two minutes. Before we start with the first item of the agenda, let me remind you that you should switch off your mobile phones. The panel session of the dissertation board is being recorded and broadcast on the Internet. It is also interpreted into English. So let me start, let me proceed with my responsibilities. The CIDES by Victoria Winter was submitted in conformity with the requirements for the academic degree of the Candidate of Science in Psychology. The specialization is 19004, Medical Psychology, Psychological Sciences. The topic is the role of sexological factors in the rehabilitation of patients after myocardial infarction. The CIDES was approved for defense by the order of the SPBU Academic Secretary on the 23rd of November 2017, number 1151-7-1. The dissertation board was set up by the order of the SPBU Academic Secretary as of the 13th of November 2017. I have already introduced the board members to you. The candidate has submitted the following documents to the SPBU Center of Expert Advice. Number one, the order of the SPBU Academic Secretary on the approval of the CITES for Defense as of the 23rd of November 2017, number 11517-1, number two, reports of the Academic Supervisor, Professor Boris Alexeyev, Doctor of Medicine, Professor of the Department of Psychiatry and Sexology of the Northwestern State Medical University named after Michnikov. Number three, list of published works containing 10 items which describe the research findings. Three works have been published in peer-reviewed journals recommended by the Ministry of Education and Science of the Russian Federation. Number four, University Diploma Series KP number 26 issued by St. Petersburg Bechtseriev Psychoneurological Research Institute it certifies that Victoria Winter completed an advanced training course in clinical psychology from the 2nd of October 2000, the year 2000, to the 20th of April 2002, and obtained the qualification of clinical psychologist. Number five, letter of verification number 4291, certifying that Victoria Winter passed three qualifying exams in history and philosophy of science, foreign language, and specialization, medical psychology with the highest possible score. Number six, expert statement from Northwestern State Medical University named after Mechnikov on submitting the CIDES for defense approved on the 28th of November 2016 by Virus Rector for Research and Innovation of the Northwestern State Medical University named after Mechnikov, Doctor of Medicine, Professor Silin. Number seven, CITES in Russian and English, a printed version with a manuscript copyright and a digital copy. The CITES formatting and reference list comply with the state standard P7.0. The above mentioned documents comply with clause 12 of section 3 of the procedure of granting academic degrees in St. Petersburg State University. Let us start uh, with the brief presentation of the candidate. The uh, members of the dissertation board, uh, the thesis is the role of sexual factors in the rehabilitation of patients after myocardial infarction. 
In most countries, there is an upward trend in the incidence of myocardial infarction, infarction and a downward trend in terms of the patient's age. So there are lots of people who should be sexually active after myocardial infarction. And since men suffer considerably more often from MI, it is also relevant because the decrease or absence of sexual function negatively affects not only the quality of life of a man, but also negatively affects the lifespan. Therefore, the, there are different rehabilitation programs for patients after MI. However, sexual aspects are not taken into account uh, for such treatment programs. Therefore, the, the development of such programs is very relevant. So the purpose of the research is to develop a short-term remedial program of, for sexual rehabilitation of male patients after MI. I have set up the following research tasks. Number one, identify sexual characteristics of male patients after MI, such as gender identity and attitudes to sexual activity after the disease. Number two, identification of the most typical sexual problems arising during the rehabilitation stage of male patients after MI to identify the attitude of cardiologists to the problem of restoring sexual activity after MI. To develop and test the model of a short-term remedial program of sexual rehabilitation of male patients after MI at the cardiac department within the framework of the restorative treatment and number five to develop practical recommendations for psychologists on counseling male patients after MI on the problem of restoring their sexual activity after the disease. I have formulated the following hypotheses. Myocardial infarction in male patients has an impact on their psychosexual sphere and can be a psychological impediment to the resumption of sexual activity. Patients after MI do not have enough information on the issue of restoring their sexual activity after the disease and to expanding the rehabilitation program for male patients after MI in order to include measures designed to improve their sexual activity will improve the rehabilitation process in general. The methodological and theoretical foundations of the research are on the slide and are on the handouts as well. I will not read them out. So here are the research findings to be defended. Male patients after MI experience some difficulties with renewing their sexual activities after the disease, such as fear of heart attack or even sudden death during the sexual intercourse when resuming sexual relations. The psychosexual sphere of male patients after MI is characterized by a number of features which include the decrease in self-satisfaction with oneself as a representative of their gender. It is advisable that the rehabilitation program should include measures designed to improve their sexual function after MI. Inclusion of the short-term remedial program would help to improve the overall psychological and emotional state at the recovery stage for male patients after MI by reducing the level of anxiety and depression as well as changing the type of attitude to the disease towards a more adaptive one. Design of the study. Object of the study, male patients aged between 23 and 65 after MI who are at the rehabilitation stage after the disease at the cardiac department. It was a subacute stage. Subject of the study, sexual factors such as gender identity and features of sexual activity of such patients and their impact on the recovery process after the implementation of the short-term remedial psychological program. Within the scope of the objectives, 
160 patients took part in the study. Their diagnosis was myocardial infarction. Also, a questionnaire survey was conducted in which 40 cardiologists took part. I wanted to find out their attitude to the problem of sexual function and their readiness and awareness of this issue. The logic and mechanism of patient selection were based on the fact that there were no significant differences between the patients in the presence and severity of somatic pathology. Therefore, both the psychologist and the attending cardiologist uh, selected the patients for the research. The, eligi the eligibility criteria are as following. A voluntary informed consent of the patient to participate in the study. Diagnosis of myocardial infarction confirmed by the conclusion of the cardiologist. Sex and age, uh, men under 64 years of age. Absence of counterindications identified by the attending physician. And the last one, hospital treatment rehabilitation stage. The patients were divided into three groups. The main group included 130 male patients. They were examined with the help of the structured interview and five psychological methods. 30 people from the main group took part in the traditional treatment and they also underwent a short-term remedial psychological program. This was the second group. And there was also a control group, which also included 30 people. People or, or other patients from this group did not participate in the remedial program, but they received traditional treatment. 30 patients that participated in the remedial psychological program and 30 people from the control group were examined twice at the admission and before the discharge. And they, then I compared the results. It was possible to compare all the uh, patients according to different characteristics, which you can see on the slide. I devised a methodological complex which included clinical anamnestic method, experimental psychological method, and statistical methods. Clinical anamnestic method included an original clinical structured interview, a questionnaire form for cardiologists, as well as overt observation. And um, I also studied history of the present disease and um, cooperated with that attending physicians. The psychological complex included five methods, which are sexual differential, the hospital anxiety depression scale HATS, Toronto Alexithymia scale TESS, coping strategies by HIME, and the diagnostic methods of type of attitudes to, to the disease TAD. I also used methods of mathematical and statistical data processing, which you can see on the slide and on the handout, so I will not be reading them out. Description of the experiment. We developed and tested a model of a short-term remedial psychological program of sexual rehabilitation of patients after myocardial infarction. The aim of the program is to increase the effectiveness of therapeutic and preventive measures to combat the risk factors for the development of repeated MI. The object of the remedial measures was the maladaptive attitude of patients towards the renewing of sexual activity after MI. So, in other words, the program was of an educational and psychological character. We used such methods as relaxation, uh, rational psychotherapy, and teaching positive behavior such as positive thinking and so on. 
So here is a list of topics that were included in the program. You can see the topics on the handouts and on the slides. So I will not be reading them. I can only say that the model includes the sexual aspects of rehabilitation of patients at the cardiac department. Now I would like to describe the main research findings. Number one, the vast majority of the patients were with the masculine gender identity. So the sampling included very few patients with a gender with feminine gender identity. Number two, the leading type of attitude to the disease among the examined patients of the main group is the ergopathic one. You can see the distribution of the attitude to the disease, as is evident from the pie chart. The harmonious type of attitude to the disease is not common. We can see that it is typical of only 12% of the patients. Number three, the content analysis of the interview data allows us to identify the following groups of the most common sexual problems that arise in patients after MI. Number one, absence of readiness to discuss sexual relations with a cardiologist. Although this issue is extremely important for the patient, decrease of self-satisfaction as a representative of their gender after MI. 53.8% of patients in the sample. At the bar chart, you can see that the patients who were not satisfied with themselves as their gender increased after MI. Number three, fear of a heart attack or even sudden death during sexual intercourse. This is what patients described as one of their problems, that was one of their concerns. The patients were at the recovery stage after the disease, so they did not have any intimate relations after MI. It means that um, they were afraid of possible or, or future sexual relations. And they did not have enough information about the impact of the drugs that they were taking on their sexual function. However, it was very important for patients to have some information about the possibility to renew their sexual activities. But they were not ready to start such discussions with their attending physician. You can see the research findings and of the st structured interview on your handout. We also compared the data that we received from the questionnaire of the cardiologist and from the structured interview. And you can see the results in the following tables. One of the questions in the structured interview was as follows. Who should touch upon the subject of the restoration of sexual activity after myocardial infarction? As you see from the table, most patients expected the cardiologist to start such discussions. If we compare these, these data with the questionnaire given to the cardiologists, we have the following results. Their questionnaire included the following question. I talked to my patients about the ability to continue sexual activity after MI. And most um, doctors think that they can have such discussions with the patient only if the patient starts these discussions himself. Therefore, we see that the patient really needs to discuss such problems, but this problem will not be 
this need will not be satisfied as the cardiologists are not ready to initiate such discussions. We have also identified some patients that were not uh, satisfied with themselves as the representatives of their gender. And there were also patients who were satisfied with themselves as their gender. We used the HADS methods to st study such patients. According to the data, patients who were not satisfied with, the, with themselves scored higher on the depression scale. The correlation analysis of the data received with the HADS and TAS methods, we received the following results. So the level of anxiety and alexithymia form a single problematic complex related to the experience in the field of sexual relations. For a more in-depth analysis, we conducted a cluster analysis which resulted in creating three large clusters that you can see on, on the handouts and, and on the slides. The first cluster negatively correlates with the level of depression and alexithymia, but positively correlates with the level of sexual desire and the intention to resume sexual activity after the disease. In other words, patients considered the possibility of resuming sexual activity after MI as a factor facilitating the rehabilitation. There's also a lower level of anxiety and alexithymia in such patients. The second cluster positively correlates with the level of alexithymia, with the dissatisfaction with himself as a representative of his gender, and the unwillingness to resume sexual activity after MI as well as with the idea of the patient about the restoration of sexual activity as a factor interfering with the recovery process after MI. The third cluster positively correlates with the level of depression and negatively correlates with the level of sexual desire. Clusters number two and number three are combined. We carried out a comparative analysis of the clusters and we have come to the following conclusion. There is a con connection between sexual experiences with a level of depression and a suppressed sexual desire, as well as the negative self-perception as the gender representative in men after MI. It means that there is a need to include measures to improve sexual activity after the disease into the traditional scheme of um, treatment of males after MI. We developed uh, such a program and tested it on the patients. I would like to, s to speak about the research findings now. Here you can see a table which demonstrates that the patients that took part in the short-term remedial program, we see that some indicators were much lower. We did not see such decrease of indicators in the control group. When we analyzed the type of attitude to the disease, we saw that the number of patients who demonstrated a harmonious attitude to the disease increased. But none of the patients of the experimental group that demonstrated harmonious attitude to the disease changed this type to a less adaptive one after the program. In the control group, we do not observe an increase in the number of patients with a harmonious type of response to the disease after the treatment. However, in two cases, there is a negative dynamics in the form of a change of the harmonious type of attitude to the disease by the agopathic one, which is less adaptive. A positive dynamic in the experimental group can be seen on the bar chart. Now I would like to say a few words about the research findings, which you can see on the handouts. Number one, sexual characteristics of male patients after myocardial infarction were established. 
prevalence of masculine gender identification and features of the attitude of sexual activity after the disease manifested in the decrease in self-satisfaction as a gender representative. The sample included much more patients with masculine gender identification. The most typical problems related to the sexual sphere that arise during the rehabilitation stage in male patients after MI. They are the lack of willingness to initiate a conversation with the attending cardiologist on the resumption of sexual relations and the decrease in self-satisfaction as a gender representative. Lack of information on the impact of their drugs on their sexual function and fear to renew sexual relations after MI. Thus, more than half of the examined patients need rehabilitation which should include sexual components. Number three, the correlation analysis allowed to identify the connection between the described psychological problem and the level of depression and alexithymia. A significantly high level of depression was found in patients who after my reported dissatisfaction with the sexual sphere compared with patients who did not have similar experiences. Number four, a low level of awareness of cardiologists about the restoration of sexual activity at the recovery stage and a low degree of willingness to discuss such issues with their patients. Number five, for the first time, a model of a short-term remedial psychological program for sexual rehabilitation was developed and tested. The program allows to solve the problem of taking into account sexual aspects. supplementing the traditional rehabilitation prog program with sessions on optimizing the restoration of sexual activity gave to an increase in the number of people with a harmonious type of attitude to the disease. It shows that this remedial program is very effective and the introduction of the model into the rehabilitation program is justified. Thank you. Are there any questions to the candidate for the degree? If there are no questions, I would like to say that we did not receive any external reports. So let's move on to the next item on, on our agenda. So in the 21st century, cardiovascular diseases are the main reasons for untimely death. And in the 21st century studies um, in cardiovascular diseases are exceptionally relevant. It is especially true for male patients for whom sexual life is important and very often they have psychological problems when returning to sexual life after a disease. In this respect, the issue of uh, the rehabilitation of patients after the disease has not only social, economic, but also psychological consequences. Modern research conducted in different countries shows that um, a decrease or a lack of sexual function has a negative impact on life expectancy and the quality of life uh, of man. There is compelling data uh, telling of the positive role of a complex rehabilitation problem in vocational rehabilitation. The citation by Victoria Winter, Winter is in line, is a state-of-the-art research and addresses the major challenges of the Russian society. This allows to speak of the relevance of Winter's research. The bibliography contains 276 items, including 86 items in a foreign language. Along with that, there are mostly um, items in Russian published before 2010, and there are only three publications in English issued in 2010. 
it would be feasible to be aware of what has been published recently. The study is illustrative enough. There are 22 tables and 11 pictures. It comprises 165 pages and 55 pages of appendices. They in include a short-term program of psychocorrection questionnaires, the results of correlation and cluster analysis. The dissertation comprises three parts. One, results of the empirical study. Two, theoretical material. Three, methodological description of the study. The empirical part of the research was conducted from 2007 to 2009. The sample consisted of 160 patients of the Cardiac Rehabilitation Department of St. Petersburg's City's Hospital. The patients were chosen uh, according to a number of criteria, voluntary involvement, MI in the medical history, age before 65 years, medical lack of medical contradictions, re inpatient care, rehabilitation period. During the first stage of the study, all the patients were divided into two groups. The main group, 130 patients, then the group uh, which under, was undergoing psycho psychoremedial program and a control group of 30 patients. This sample is described in detail in the dissertation. On the second stage, statistical data processing was conducted with the use of correlation cluster and content analysis. A set of five methodics, psychodiagnostic methods were used in the research. Sexual differential by Kagan, hospital anxiety and depression scale by Drobyshev, Toronto alexithymia scale by Yegeska, and coping strategies of Heim, as well as types of attitudes to the disease, developed by scientific psychoneurological institute named after Bechtigev. The theoretical part focuses on uh, gender identity, uh, features of male sexuality, and psychological aspects of rehabilitations, rehabilitation of male patients after MI. There is a glossary that gives definitions to major terms and concepts. It includes uh, key terminology. Unfortunately, what I haven't found there is uh, the candidate's own understanding of sexological factors in this glossary. Let's analyze the methodology used in the study. The aim of the study was to develop a short-term program of remedial psychological program for sexological rehabilitation of male patients after MI and to evaluate the dynamics of psychological indicators during the program evaluation. The objectives are formulated in five statements. These are objectives four and five. The about practical aspects of the work. There are three hypotheses uh, which are in line with literature overview, and there are five research findings which are too concise. The conclusion doesn't fully reflect the analysis conducted by the candidate and results of the study. It dwells on the uh, relevance and practical value of the research. The results of the study are summarized in five state statements. There is a number of unclear wordings in the methodological description of the study. The first has, it just, gives, uh, just gives the already known data and does not provide any uh, particular new information that the author, the candidate has obtained. The second finding is too concise and it's just a practical recommendation. The third finding is very similar to, the, to one of the hypotheses of the dissertation. In general, uh, summaries and the conclusion are in line with the aim and objectives but they do not fully reflect um, what the candidate has achieved during the study. Let me ask a few questions. What are the effectiveness criteria of the remedial psychological program apart from the harmonious type of attitudes to the disease? 
what is the particular role of sexological factors in the rehabilitation of patients? How do the candidates' recommendations correlate with the Princeton consensus panel? The novelty of the study is in its practical approach to the issue. It offers a model of short-term remedial psychological program of sexological rehabilitation of male patients after MI. A comprehensive approach was taken to the issue of recovering of patients after MI. It was implemented through a joint teamwork of specialists. The study provides new scientific insights into the specifics of male sexuality after MI. The applied value of the research lies uh, in the possibility of using its results uh, by medical psychologists in consulting psychology, in training medical professionals and psychologists. She offers a substantiation for the modification of treatment regimen which considers sexological profiles during rehabilitation. Accuracy and credibility is determined by a substantial theoretical basis, methods of empirical research in line with uh, the aim and objectives of the study, as well as uh, statistical methods of data analysis. Despite the questions and critical remarks I have made, uh, the cities of Victoria Winter topic the role of sexological factors in the rehabilitation of patients of the myocardial infarction complies with the major requirements set forth in the order uh, number 6821-1 as of the 1st of September 2016 on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. Victoria Winter can be awarded the academic degree of the candidate of psychology, specialization 19 004 Medical Psychology, Psychological Sciences. Chair of the Dissertation Board, Doctor of Psychological Sciences, Department of General Psychology, St. Petersburg State University, Valentina Buzova. Now let us proceed with the other reports we have from the members of the Dissertation Board. Dear colleagues, the thesis by Victoria Winter is devoted to the role of sexological factors in the rehabilitation of patients after MI. The relevance of the research is determined by the need to improve the programs of psychological and social rehabilitations of patients after MI due to the high incidence, debilitating character and traumatizing character of this coronary event. It is evident that the sexual sphere, which is one of the most important spheres in interpersonal relations, is always affected by this disease and has an impact on other spheres of his life as well. It also has an impact on his social adaptation and rehabilitation. However, the existing programs of rehabilitation do not involve any measures to optimize his sexual activities and to solve a wide range of social and psychological problems connected with the sexual activities and problems in this area. Therefore, the thesis by Victoria Winter seems relevant. The purpose of the dissertation is to develop a short-term remedial psychological program for sexual rehabilitation of male patients after MI and to evaluate the dynamics of psychological indicators during the testing of the program. The candidate for the degree has set up and fulfilled five objectives. I'm not going to read them out since uh, she has touched upon this topic in her presentation. She has used valuable and useful methods which allowed her to conduct a comprehensive research. She identified the targets of her 
remedial program of sexual rehabilitation and was able to assess the dynamics of psychological characteristics such as the emotional state and attitude to the disease. The author should be credited for the developing of a structured interview which allows to describe problems of patients connected with their sex life after MI. We can see the text of the structured interview, which is given in the appendix, as well as the clinical case. Another merit of the thesis is that the author used different methods, including methods of mathematical statistics, empirical methods, and different other methods, which provides the credibility of the research. 160 male patients after MI participated in the study. 130 were included in the main group, which was examined by the complex of methods, including a structured interview and five psychological methods. 30 patients from the main group took part in the short-term remedial program developed by the author and 30 patients were included in the control group who did not participate in this program. These two groups were examined twice. The author also includes the eligibility criteria in her thesis and a distribution of respondents, including the age characteristics. This is a necessary condition to discuss the problems connected with the sexual sphere. This distribution of patients was also used later when she analyzed her, result, her results. The author also offered a questionnaire form to 40 cardiologists. The program which she developed allowed the author to come up to new results and findings. The research findings are analyzed in the third chapter of the thesis. She was able to come to five conclusions which seem to be in line with the aim and objective of the research. Her research findings are valid and are consistent with the contents of the thesis. Besides, they also seem relevant and theoretically valuable. So, the scientific novelty of the thesis is as follows. The author was able to come to very important conclusions as she has analyzed a great number of Russian and foreign research works devoted to sexual sphere of people after MI. It should be noted that there is a number of works in medical literature, but there are quite a few works on the psychological problems of, of such patients. Since there is a great role of emotive factors in the progress and course of the coronary disease, the research findings seem to be very relevant. The empirical study shows the gender identity, sexual activities and concerns of patients after MI. She also describes the alexithemia, coping strategies and their attitude to the disease. The fact that most patients were not satisfied with themselves as a gender representative also seems important to the research. We can say that this self-dissatisfaction is of a generalized character and encroaches on other important spheres in their lives. This opens new ways for developing rehabilitation and preventive measures for such patients. The data can complement the theoretical concept of psychosomatic 
diseases and also to strengthen the, posi the, posi the positions of personalized medicine, since the thesis shows that it is impossible to develop treatment and rehabilitation programs uh, of patients after MI without taking into account their specific and individual characteristics. The practical value is as follows. Victoria Winter has developed a short-term program which is given in the appendices to, to the thesis. Each session is accompanied by practical guidelines for psychologists and psychotherapists. She also provides a list of reference which can be useful. Therefore, the thesis contains a ready and tested instrument which can be used for the rehabilitation of patients after MI. Clinical psychologists can use different other appendices to the thesis, for example, form of the clinical structured interview or questionnaire offered to the patients after the short-term program and handouts to patients that took part in the sessions. The structured questionnaire form for cardiologists and practical guidelines can also be clinical for can also be useful for the clinical practice i am not going to talk about the structure of the dissertation since the chair of the board has spoken about the structure but i can say that this thesis is a valuable research work in general the the thesis contains new research findings and the candidate for the degree formulated valid and relevant research findings which are important for science and for practice as well. However, I have some critical remarks, although they are not serious. I have one technical remark and some questions. My technical remark. The second chapter of the thesis gives the following name of the method, examination method of protective coping behavior by Haim, which I do not find appropriate. The method is not used to identify defense mechanism, and this method is used to deal with coping strategies. I also have some questions. The objectives and research findings do not contain the study of the psychological characteristics of males after MI, although Chapter 3 describes the emotional state, degree of alexithemia, coping strategies, attitude to the disease, and their connection with the sexual sphere as well as the dynamics of psychological characteristics of patients that took part and did not take part in the remedial psychological program. Why did you omit this part of the research from your research tasks and research findings? Number two, how can you explain the correlation between the se sexual problems and the level of alexithemia. Number three, did you conduct any comparative study of sexual activities and sexual problems before the disease and after MI? However, the critical remarks are not serious and the thesis is relevant. The research findings can be useful for clinical psychologists and other professionals working in the area of rehabilitation of cardiac patients. Conclusion. The thesis of Victoria Winter, the role of sexological factors in the rehabilitation of patients after myocardial infarction, complies with the major requirements set forth in Order 6821-1 as of September 1, 2016 on the procedure of granting degrees at St. Petersburg State University and Victoria Winter can be awarded the degree of the 
candidate of psychology, specialization medical psychology. Thank you. Doctor of Science, Professor Shulkova. The floor is given to Professor Malkova. The research conducted by Winter is devoted to the role of sexological factors in the rehabilitation of male patients of myocardial infarction. According to the World Health Organization, myocardial infarction is prevalent and is one of the civilization diseases. Epidemiological research of recent years shows that there is a, ten there is a tendency for the increase of this disease, but also uh, there is a rise to the complication, uh, complications and, uh, of these diseases. The age of patients is getting younger and younger. Males tend to suffer from this disease more often than females. Along with that, they often uh, have sexological problems after the disease. In this respect, it is evident that the topic of, uh, offered uh, by Winter for discussion today is really relevant. It answers the challenges of uh, present times, and it's, uh, the results might be really helpful for the patients after myocardial infarction. Winter has developed a short-term remedial psychological program for male patients. Uh, undergoing rehabilitation after myocardial infarction. Hypothesis uh, and aims based upon that uh, have established the importance of, of the role of this of the factor uh, of such factor as the uh, sexological rehabilitation of patients. The research focuses on the study of gender identity and the attitude to sexual activity of men uh, after myocardial infarction, as well as the attitude of cardiologists to the, the, to the issue of the rehabilitation of sexual functions uh, after the disease. The candidate has used up-to-date uh, methods, clinical methods, and a set of uh, methods uh, of uh, psychodiagnostics, um, which have already, which have uh, have a proven track record of success in diagnostics, the research findings are well substantiated. The research findings and practical recommendations are well substantiated. This is based uh, upon the 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 sample, which includes 160 patients. The design of the study is also relevant. She has applied modern methods of research and appropriate mathematical data process processing. They are in line with the goals, aims and objectives of the study. The sample and the methods are also uh, in line with the goals set by the candidate. The candidate has developed uh, her own uh, interview and question interview for the patients and a questionnaire for cardiologists. Um, she has provided appropriate statistical processing of the data. This allows her to solve all the tasks she has set. There is some novelty in the research. It lies in the analysis of psychological characteristics of male patients. It takes into account sexological characteristics of male patients, and they are important in the proper rehabilitation of male patients after MI. Before that, such issues had not been taken into account when uh, in the rehabilitation programs. This is because they remained little studied in terms of psychology. The brand new novel approach of the candidate is a short-term remedial psychological program of program of sexological rehabilitation of male patients of the MI. It is for the first time uh, in Russian science. The candidate 
has decided to consider sexological aspects in the rehabilitation of male patients after MI. It is of special interest that the candidate has developed a set of practical recommendations to consult male patients after MI. They refer to the return to sex life after MI and during the rehabilitation period. This might be useful for clinical psychologists and cardiologists. Appendix 1 gives a well-structured and a well-thought-over model of a remedial program. It provides a set of wise recommendations. So profession, medical professionals, uh, cardiologists, even those who don't have any background in psychology can find these recommendations useful. They can be, the recommendations can be used in training for advanced training of sexologists, um, clinical psychologists. They can also create the basis of new training courses for cardiologists. The dissertation has a traditional structure with an introduction, theoretical part, methodological substantiation of the study, and its empirical part, which contains the description of the methods of research, empirical method in its analysis, including clinical cases, practical recommendations, summaries, conclusions, a list of bibliography, and 10 appendices which contain methodological materials and the results of statistical analysis. Appendix 1 has a detailed description of the model of a short-term remedial psychological program developed by the author. The program focuses on male patients after MI. This well thought out structure allows the candidate uh, to focus on all the aspects of her study. The dissertation is well written. It has a glossary. There are illustrative tables and pictures. The bibliography list contains 160 pages. The dissertation is translated into English. This allows our foreign colleagues uh, to become aware of new advancements in Russian science. The list of published works contains 10 items. Three of them were published uh, in the period journals recommended by the Ministry of Education and Science of the Russian Federation. There are no serious critical remarks that I would like to give. At the same time, I have some general remarks and questions. Number one, I would like to find the author's explanation uh, why she has chosen patients who differ in age so greatly. The youngest patient was age 23 and the oldest is age 65. The relevance of sex life for a young man age 23 and a mature man age 65 is really different. So methods of remedial psychological intervention uh, should differ. Number two, during the study, the candidate has shown a positive correlation of the level of alexithymia and the dissatisfaction level of patient with his sex life before the disease. However, she doesn't reveal the psychological mechanisms um, lying in the basis of this factor. Number three, the, the candidate doesn't show the correlation between um, sexual uh, issues and uh, negative attitude to themselves as gender uh, with their family status and social status. At the same time, uh, maybe their psychological problems are not about their sexuality, but about their social status, which they want to protect. Let me quote, cardiologists uh, do not show readiness to, to 
to speak with the patients about possible sexological problems they might face during and after the rehabilitation period after MI. At the same time, it's not clear from the study if the patients really needed this kind of information and how relevant this aspect was uh, for them. Maybe they started thinking about that only after the consultation with a psychologist. Number five, the author uh, has revealed that patients have significant psychological difficulties when talking to their doctor about sex life, especially in terms of the uh, medical conditions they have survived. Is it only uh, the doctor's issues? Maybe it has something to do with the psychological profile of patients, which should also be taken into account when developing such programs. The questions and remarks I have specified are not serious. They do not undermine the general high quality of the study. The dissertation uh, is really a valuable research. Let me conclude. The dissertation of Victoria Winter, the role of sexological factors in the rehabilitation of patients after myocardial infarction, is complies with the major requirements set forth in Order 6821-1 as of the 1st of September 2016 on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. The thesis is submitted in conformity with the requirements for the degree of Candidate of Science in Psychology. The specialization is 190004 Medical Psychology Psychological Sciences. Victoria Winter has uh, conducted research uh, which answers the challenges of uh, present day times. The scope of the research and the significance of the data which she obtained using cutting-edge technologies and relevant methods, the practical value and the recommendations. So all these advantages of the study allow me to conclude that Victoria, Victoria Winter can be awarded the academic degree of the Candidate of Psychology, Specialization 19004, Medical Psychology, Psychological Sciences. Thank you for your attention. Dear colleagues, I would like to say a few words about the relevance of the thesis. The thesis of Victoria Winter deals with the theoretical and empirical analysis of sexual fact factors of patients after MI. The relevance of the topic is determined by several aspects. In most countries, there is an increase in the incidence rate of cardiovascular diseases and a decrease of the patient's age. Studies show that cardiovascular diseases are a main reason for disabilities. Men suffer from MI much more often than women, and the absence of sexual functions has an impact on the life quality and the lifespan. All these factors had an impact on the choice of the topic and methods of study. Complex rehabilitation of such patients must include different spheres, including the sexual sphere. However, sexual aspects of rehabilitation have not been studied to a great extent, which makes the thesis even more relevant. The study of psychological factors allows us to develop a comprehensive remedial program to restore the sexual function of patients after MI. Modern psychosomatic studies show that psychological factors that led to the disease and psycho 
and psychological and social adaptation for the disease are, both, are, are relevant. This allows me to say that the thesis is consistent with the current approach in behavioral medicine. The purpose of the thesis is to study sexual factors in patients after MI and to develop a short-term remedial psychological program and to assess the dynamics of psychological indicators during the testing. To achieve this purpose, the author conducted an empirical study which allowed her to devise a remedial program. Uh, the empirical study included the studies of sexual characteristics, different sexual problems, and the attitude of cardiologists. The author also developed practical guidelines for psychologists. Victoria Winter substantiated the aim of her research, her methods, and sampling. The theoretical and practical value of the thesis is as follows. The analysis of scientific works includes 276 items. In the analysis of the prior research works, she shows historical background and modern situation. The analysis of the existing literature can be used to develop training courses for clinical psychologists. The data about the sexual characteristics of patients after MI, their gender identity and the impact of these aspects on the restoration process is important for the medical psychology. The empirical study has yielded results that can be used to develop psychological interventions to restore sexual activities and cope with ineffective behavioral forms. The research findings can also be used to develop psychological follow-up programs, to develop individual psychological pro programs, and to raise awareness of cardiologists and psychologists. As far as I know, there is no comprehensive model in Russian medicine which would include sexual aspects of the recovery period which makes the thesis even more relevant. Research findings related to coping strategies and type of attitude to the disease are also important for individual counseling. Self-dissatisfaction, distress and depression is very important for creating an individual psychological profile and developing a remedial program. The research findings show that depression has a negative correlation with the sexual desire and a positive correlation with alexithymia. As a result, we have a complex cluster which includes anxiety, depression and alexithymia. The study also shows that both patients and cardiologists lack information about sexual aspects of rehabilitation after MI. Therefore, the thesis can be used to raise awareness of patients and cardiologists. The short-term psychological program has a very important impact and is, is very Im important. The program is of psychological and educational character. The aim of the program to help patients renew their sexual activities. The contents is published in 10 research papers. Validity of the research findings. The critical analysis of the psychological and medical literature allowed the author to work on a very re relevant topic and to provide valid research findings. 
Uh, the author conducted uh, a critical analysis of the literature, clinical and anamnestic survey, and also developed a questionnaire and a structured interview. Besides, she also used statistical methods. If we speak about the biosocial and, and psychological a attitude as well as team-based attitude, then the choice of methods seems valid and relevant. Besides, I'd like to mention a very thorough qualitative and quantitative analysis of the empirical data. And this analysis is in line with the author's um, opinion. Now, the conclusion. The thesis of Victoria Winter is a complete research work which analyzes theoretical foundations and has yielded valuable practical results useful for medical psychology. The thesis is relevant, has elements of scientific novelty. It has novelty from the point of view of the practice and theory. Therefore, the thesis complies with the order 6821-1 on granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And Victoria Winter can be awarded the academic degree of the candidate of psychology, specialization 19004 medical psychology. Member of the dissertation board, Doctor of Science, Professor of Sofia University, Matanova Vanya Lukova. Thank you. The floor is given to Professor Ababkov. Today we are talking about a prevalent uh, disease and psychological help here requires to know the causes of these disorders. The author has used modern methods of research um, and analysis, uh, proper statistical processing of uh, the materials. The results are presented uh, in an accurate way in three, in three chapters. Summaries are preceded by the review of existing research and various theoretical and methodological approaches to the issues under study. She also explains insufficient consistency, consistency of scientific views on the topic under study. Based upon the theoretical and methodological analysis, the candidate explains her own approach to the role of sexual disorders in treating cardiac patients. The analysis of the obtained data allows her to make five logical conclusions in line with the five objectives. She also offers a specially developed program of psychological intervention for patients and risk groups. The empirical part of the study is a logical continuation to the theoretical part. The chapter focusing on materials and methods of research the candidate provides a detailed account of the sample, which includes 130 patients and 30 cardiologists. She describes the stages of the study and the methods she has applied, which are in line with the aim and objectives of the study. The research results described in the dissertation fully reflect the content of the study and it allows to identify its theoretical, methodological and methodical level as satisfactory. Conclusions show that the objectives have been achieved. 
the candidate provides enough evidence for the theoretical and practical value of the study. Let me speak about the credibility and novelty of uh, research findings, conclusions and recommendations. Findings, recommendations and conclusions are accurate as they're based on the sufficient volume of research work. As, I, as it has been said, the sample included 130 patients and 30 cardiologists. She has used sufficient number of scientific theoretical provisions, uh, valid psychodiagnostic tools, contemporary methods of statistical processing of data in line with the tasks and objectives she has set. The novelty lies in number of factors. Number one, identification of psychological profiles after myocardial infarctions who have sexual disorders. Number two, the dissertation outlines the understanding of that cardiologists have about the role of sexual relations in their patients and ways to eliminate them. Number three, a short-term psychological remedial program developed by the candidate. The results of the study allowed the candidate to identify major patterns in psychological intervention when in the rehabilitation of complex patients. In general, the results of the study can facilitate better planning and uh, implementation of psychological and sexological diagnostics. They can raise the profile of uh, psychotherapeutic treatment in the process of the rehabilitation uh, of patients uh, with cardiovascular diseases along with the taking into account clinical, psychological and sexological characteristics. The materials show that the candidate uh, has designed and implemented all the aims and tasks of the research independently. She has developed methodological and methodical concept of the research which form the foundation of its experimental part. She has identified uh, sets of methods and uh, diagnostic tools independently. She has conducted and statistically processed the obtained data. Uh, she has done the interpretation of this material, has formulated hypotheses, research findings and conclusions. Several short and one long description of clinical cases professionally described by the candidate serve as a good addition. The dissertation has a traditional structure. The bibliography list is sufficient. The dissertation is illustrative with tables and pictures. It has a large appendices of over 100 pages that can find practical application. In general, I can conclude that the quality and the volume of the material, the design of the study and the applied methods fit with the aims and objectives. The conclusions are in line with the aim and objectives of the study. Major research findings for defense are supported by convincing argumentation and evidence. The candidates' publications reflect the research findings of the dissertation. The number of the publications is sufficient. Now let us turn to uh, questions and remarks. A rather concise conclusion to pages only and overly general conclusions have left out some particular and critical results of the study which are marked by certain scientific and practical value. Practical recommendations uh, significantly outnumber 
the quantity of conclusions and at times are overly generalized too. The remarks I have make, mo made are not serious, they are a matter of opinion and they do not undermine the value of Winter's research. In general, it complies with the existing requirements for candidate dissertations. I have a number of uh, questions to the candidate. Question 1. In conclusions 1 and 2, we find sexual profiles and typical problems of patients uh, from the sample. What might be the causes of these conditions? Number 2. How realistic is the remedial psychological problem program of sexological rehabilitation and joint teamwork of several specialists in the context of cost-saving policy of the Russian health care? Let me conclude the dissertation by Victoria Winter is submitted in conformity with the requirements for the degree of candidate of science is uh, psychology. It's a valid research. It has practical and theoretical value when it comes to its conclusions and recommendations. The dissertation complies with the major requirements set forth in order 6821-1 as of the 1st of September 2016. Victoria Winter can be awarded the academic degree of the candidate of psychology. Specialization 190004, Medical Psychology, Psychological Sciences. The floor is given to the candidate uh, for her remarks and answers to questions. <coughs> I'll be answering questions in the order uh, of the reports that which have been presented. Uh, a factor is like a condition or is a dynamic force. So uh, by a factor we meant actually the process of sexual relations. So we considered such factors as uh, sexual activity of male patients, uh, gender identity. In fact, we are talking about the psychological aspects and psychological issues uh, when returning to sex life after myocardial infarction. Talking about the conclusion, the dissertation is the study uh, is of an applied uh, character. So, in my summaries and conclusions, I tried to focus on those aspects which might find practical application in the work of cardiologists, rehabilitation personnel, and clinical psychologists when it comes to the effectiveness criteria. If we go deeper into the criteria of effectiveness, then apart from those criteria which I have already mentioned, uh, harmonization to the disease, for example, then we can, can speak about a decrease in anxiety level as well as the general um, attitude to the program in patients, uh, which they specified in the questionnaire. I mean those patients uh, which took the program. This aspect uh, can serve as um, an evidence of an increased quality of life and they can have a positive effect on the general track of life in, of patients after MI. What is the role of sexological factors precisely? As the data has revealed, Sexological factors show how the patient reacts to the disease. Uh, it also shows how the patient uh, regards himself as a representative of his or her gender. These factors have an impact on the rehabilitation process in general. 
dependent on the factors are taken into account by rehabilitation personnel, then we can speak about these factors as factors which can raise or uh, can raise the effects of the rehabilitation or can have no effect on the rehabilitation. Talking about the Princeton uh, panel, the Princeton uh, panel are the recommendations which were developed by American cardiologists to evaluate how the patient is ready or whether the patient is ready or not ready to return to sex life. These recommendations include the phys physiological aspects of patients. Our research does not contradict these recommendations in any way. We don't have similar set of recommendations in Russian science. This is what made us use these recommendations in our study. In our study, these recommendations um, are used with an addition of psychological factors. Psychological factors are really important. And the, the mood of the patient may lead to the harmonization uh, of psychological state of the patient and fast, uh, the, speed up the rehabilitation period. We use the questionnaire to find the targets uh, on which we can work uh, with a patient. We use this questionnaire as a questionnaire to identify coping strategies. Terminology is different, but what we meant here, uh, we meant just coping strategies, but not psychological defense mechanisms. A question about psychological characteristics or features of male patients. We tried to identify psychological profiles of patients for to use uh, them in practice so that uh, we can design a relevant uh, remedial psychological program. This stage of the research was a supportive stage. This is why we didn't include this into a separate uh, aim or objective of the study. When collecting data and analyzing the data, the results we have obtained are really big in number, so it was impossible to include all of them into the dissertation because its scope is limited. Many of them found the application as recommendations for psychologists. So we have tried to specify and reflect all the results of the study in the dissertation. Anyway, talking about the correlation between uh, sexological disorders and the level of alexithymia, it's an interesting question, but this is something that was not given uh, in the objectives and aims of the study. As I see it, MI is a psychosomatic disease. Alexithymia is one of the leading factors provoking provoking sexual disorders. <laughs> sexual problems are, are often a taboo for many people. At certain points, as it is reflected in the study, it was difficult to raise these issues both for patients and cardiologists. So these talks can even increase the level of anxiety that a patient already has because of the alexithymia. It's when a, uh, a patient finds it difficult to talk about his emotions. The question about the sexual profiles of men before the disease and after. We haven't conducted this kind of study. Our sample 
included patients which had active sex life before MI. The age before 65 is the age of mature sexuality. It was difficult to find the right methods which will be which will allow to consider which, which factors which led to a disease in patients. It's a difficult task. We can't be sure that a cardiac patient with 100% have uh, MI. If we had conducted this kind of research, it would have been difficult to uh, provide a relevant design of the study. There is similar research, but this is solely um, medical research in its scope. It's not a psychological research. The, this research uh, has revealed that patients with MI had demonstrated uh, problems uh, with the sex life before the disease. So uh, we can regard these sexual disorders before MI as a factor invoking the disease. Perhaps uh, this, this study conducted abroad will complement uh, current research conducted on this issue. And the next question was about the the choice of uh, age brackets. The choice, um, we made this choice because of the epidemiological statistics. Currently, we can see that uh, age brackets are getting broader. Before, we used to have mature patients but now the age of patients, MI, MI patients, are getting younger and younger. A patient of 23 years old is the youngest uh, patient with MI in the study. The upper bracket is the patient age 65. As I have already said, uh, this is what considered uh, the age of mature sexuality in men. When conducting the research, uh, we, sp we divided the patients uh, into age groups. It's given on pages 83, 84 of the dissertation. When analyzing the results, we could see that the importance of uh, sex life for patients in different age group, social status and uh, family status is, is of importance for any age group. I'm now citing my dissertation. In literature, we can find uh, these examples too. But these are only foreign publications. In the sources we have analyzed, there is no division into age groups. In German and American research, 100 male patients uh, aged below 60 were analyzed. So the low level of uh, age was not identified. So the research focused only on uh, cardiac uh, problems and how they correlate with sexual disorders. Um, now let me talk about the positive correlation between alex alexithymia and the level of the satisfaction of sex life before the, the study. I suppose you have already answered this question, so let's omit that and proceed to the next one. Now the question about the negative um, attitude of male patients and how it correlates uh, to their family and social background. The, 
the assumption you have made does not contradict the data we have obtained. The tendency to show ergopathic attitude to the disease uh, is characteristic of the masculine type of man. The majority men in our sample are men with male gender identity. Here we have the aspect of uh, psychological interpretation. Maybe the interpretation you offer requires a different design of the study. In this case, you would have to analyze the type of relationship in a family because if we are talking about the importance of the social level for the man, then it's typical for the traditional family set up with the man as the breadwinner. The family is undergoing changes. This is evident. In, in young families, uh, it's not only the man who is the breadwinner, it's also the woman. So we can't regard the loss of the social or economical uh, status of a man as a threat to his uh, masculinity. The analysis we have conducted shows that social and family background does not affect on how important it is for men to have their active sex life and return to the sex life after a mine. This is given in some detail in Chapter 3. So, as I said, cardiologists are not uh, ready to talk about the issue of getting back to active sex life after MI with their patients. The implication was that uh, patients started thinking about that only after uh, the uh, conversations with their cardiologists. The study was practical in its character. We designed a program which was implemented for a long time at the uh, cardiac department of hospitals. Only in some time uh, we had this academic interest to analyze that uh, in terms of quantitative uh, research. Patients really had uh, I wish to talk with uh, professionals about these aspects, but cardiologists either did not have time for that or felt they didn't have enough qualification to talk about that. So many male patients were willing to talk about that with psychologists. For many of them, it was a critical uh, question. This is what made us start this research. These questions are re relevant for uh, MI patients. Next question was Do psychological uh, difficulties that arise in patients during the talks with cardiologists? Um, are because of uh, the qualifications of the doctors or because of the psychological profiles of patients themselves. We considered that in our research and before the, the program, we asked um, these questions to the patients to identify their psychological profiles and we considered that at the next stage of the uh, program. What is important here is a comprehensive approach and we have implemented this comprehensive approach when designing uh, the remedial program. The disadvantage that doctors have uh, is that doctors themselves are not well informed about the role of sexological factors. They don't have readiness to make their patients aware of the possible difficulties.
the program that we have developed allows to discard these issues. I would like to now answer questions of Professor Ababkov. Uh, the conclusion I have made is really concise. Uh, this is because I focused on the practical uh, application of my study. Many conclusions uh, are provided in the summary and in the recommendations. Many recommendations, are, most recommendations are of practical uh, character. Originally, we designed this study with an outcome to develop a set of ready-made practical recommendations that uh, doctors and other medical personnel can use. This is why the practical guidelines and recommendations were so crucial for us. Talking about the correlations in uh, conclusion one is a bit difficult because um, in this respect we would have uh, would have conducted we should have conducted an experiment, but this did not that wasn't part of our study on the level of its aims and objectives. As I have already said, originally. Uh, the research was practical in its character. What I meant by a team work of specialists is the follows. This is the joint efforts of all the medical specialists working at the cardiac rehabilitation department. It's the work uh, within their scope of qualifications. They were not supposed to assume any extra responsibilities beyond their qualification level. The aim of the program partly was to ease the load of work that the doctors have at such departments. A psychologist is, is a mediator. The psychologist helps to establish the contact between the patient and the doctor to help uh, the patient find the right words when he experiences difficulties in talking about uh, sexual, sexual issues. Sometimes we just uh, have a role play where a patient would ask all the necessary questions to the psychologist before he consults the cardiologist. Professor Matanova did not have any questions. You now may take your seat. The floor is given to the academic supervisor. Dear colleagues, Victoria Winter graduated St. Petersburg Hudson Pedagogical University, and then she graduated from Bertrev Neurological Institute. Now she's a qualified clinical psychologist. She got the degree in 2002 as a medical psychologist. She started her career in the city hospital at the cardiac department. And it was here that she became interested in the studies of sexual aspects of cardiac patients. So it was her own initiative to start developing this short-term remedial psychological program. So she wanted to develop a program for MI patients, which would include psychological aspects. The program was approved by the doctors and the patients of this hospital. Uh, while working on her thesis as a postgraduate student at Mechnik of St. Petersburg State University. She worked as a teacher at the department in order to upgrade her teaching skills. Dur during her practical work, Victoria was always interested in upgrading her skills. Therefore, she attended different extensive courses 
to get extra knowledge in psychology and psychotherapy. She participates in um, different conferences and roundtables on sexology, psychology and psychotherapy. She is one of the members of the Association of Psychologists of Russia and a member of the Cognitive Psychologists of Russia. At present, she is a leading psychologist at the Russian Emergency Services. She provided psychological support to Russian people and she has also been awarded for her extraordinary work. Victoria Winter is a very well qualified cl clinical psychologist who has aptitude for creative thinking and analysis. The research findings can be useful for rehabilitation treatment of patients after MI. The relevance of her study, her ability to um, come up with the methods of research and to use them for her studies, as well as uh, scientific research of the findings show her high qualification and the fact that she can be awarded the degree of the candidate of science. Thank you. Now we are going to have a five-minute break to discuss the procedure. Please leave the room for some time.
We continue our session. Please switch on the microphone. Now, I put to the vote the issue on conferring the academic degree. The decision of the dissertation board is valid if more than 50% of the members of the dissertation board voted in support of this decision, but the number of dissertation board members should not be fewer than three people. This is according to the relevant order. So. Professor Shelkova voted for, Professor Ababkov voted for, Professor Malkova voted for conferring the degree, Professor Matanova voted for conferring the degree. So, dear guests, dear members of the boards, I can say that five members of the dissertation board voted for conferring the degree. Now we confer the academic degree specialization 19004 medical psychology psychological sciences. Now we give uh, the floor to the candidate for the degree. Please be brief. Dear Chairman of the Board, dear members of the Board, dear colleagues, thank you for your attention to my research and for the useful discussion. I would like to thank St. Petersburg State University and those who work at the Center for Expert Advice for giving me the opportunity to uh, have my defense here. And I would like to thank the Department of Psychology at Mechnik of St. Petersburg University. And I would like to thank the professors who taught me, as well as the cardiac department of hospital number 40, which allowed me to conduct me this research. And I would like to thank the patients that participated in my research. And I would like to thank my academic supervisor who helped me in my research, Professor Alexeev. And I would like to thank everybody else who supported me in my research. Now, this is the end of the session of the dissertation board.